Hello movie lovers, today I will show you a horror thriller comedy movie from 2020, titled Spree. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie start with a young man introducing himself as Kurt Kunkel, who is an online social media channel called Kurt's World. His live streams and videos tell us about his aspirations as an influencer. He's a gamer, a playboy and a babysitter to Bobby, who now runs the famous, Bobby Basecamp channel, their friendship lasts to this day. Kurt's latest gig is spree driving, which he considers to be excellent in terms of content. Even though Kurt's content has never reached double digits in views and engagement after 10 years of posting. He plans to improve this with something he calls the lesson. Finally, Kurt has gone viral after April 12, 2019. He starts on his trip after saying goodbye to his mother. He places cameras inside the car for his live streaming session. The cameras have drawn the attention of our first passenger of the day, Frederick, who is soon quite curious about what they are for. Frederick wonders why Kurt is being monitored by cameras, and Kurt says they're being used to ensure his safety. As Kurt learns, Frederick plans to speak to more than 3,000 people, and Kurt is astounded. Kurt is excited about the information and claims that he's live streaming to a handful of his fans. In reality, Bobby's the only viewer who is here to laugh at the fun live. Frederick gets riled up by creating an aggressive conversation about race in the live stream. Bobby decides to talk again before his final points go up. While Kurt tells the audience who Bobby is, we flash some footage of his videos. As Kurt speeds over a few stop signs, Frederick begins to become excited which which Kurt notices. After which, he takes a drink of water, Frederick finds it to be odd. We cut to a strange tutorial that Kurt recorded mentioning. Hi guys, today we're going to be learning how to discreetly spice up your water. All it takes is a few drops, then you just dab it up with some hot glue, and you're all set. Frederick is now dead. Kurt then headed to his next victim. The next passenger dies the same way as Frederick. Kurt leaves a generous $2 tip with a 5 star rating on top. The show goes on as Kurt starts playing his terrible music and then picks up Mario, another passenger. Mario's already in a hurry because he has a date. Because this was a social spree ride, Kurt was ready to pick another customer up. They head off to pick up Jessie, but she's immediately turned off by the fact that it's a social ride. Also, there was loud music blasting, so it annoyed her. Kurt offers to pay for the trip, even though she has called it off. He says it's on the house, hop in. But then after unwillingly accepting, she comes to realize that Mario was hitting on her, which she finds horrifying, she isn't the least bit interested. Then he finds out she's Jesse Adams, the famous comedian. Kurt excitement rises as Mario tells her she's famous. Mario goes on about saying that she's got a considerable amount of followers, to which Kurt responds, you know I'm something of an influencer myself. Kurt suggests Jesse follow him, like following the normal influencer pattern. Suddenly, Mario takes out his phone and starts recording Jesse, encouraging her to do the same to him. She lets her followers know that a creep named Mario is nagging her. Mario and Jesse get into a fight. Finally, Jesse steps out of the car. She also takes the water bottle with her, but Mario might have pulled her strings a bit too much before she started walking away. Jesse became mad and splashed the poisoned water on Mario. Jesse shows off how much of a fool Mario saw his own video on her story. While he's in terrible shape, Kurt drags him on a shortcut, but it gets worse and he gets sick. This presents a golden chance for Kurt to ram Mario over and get rid of him. After turning on his gaming lights at night, Kurt checks Jesse's Instagram. He found out that she had a spectacular show planned for tonight. Kurt goes to the gas station to fill his car up, while Bobby is still on Kurt's stream, commenting and clowning. Although there was a cop right near Kurt filling up his car, Kurt whispers in his live stream saying, Dude, I'm literally like live killing people, why am I not going viral yet? Bobby is commenting down below his thoughts on Kurt's live, and what his opinions are about this murder spree. Kurt responds by saying that his content is authentic just like Homeless Hero. Homeless Hero is one of Bobby's most viral videos on his YouTube channel. This is where he pranks a homeless person, but in actuality, the homeless guys were just paid actors. Bobby burns Kurt for actually believing that the video was a genuine one. Bobby then gives Kurt a last chance to prove to him that he is wrong. If Kurt succeeds, then Bobby will promote Kurt's channel. Kurt then makes his way and picks up this eccentric drunk trio, and freaks them out showing his insane driving skills. The trio needs an adventure, and Kurt guarantees that he will show them a real adventure. He takes them to a car junk platform. Then he opened the car roof and asked them to stick out their heads. Surprisingly, the two had a good time and were enjoying the view, even though they complained that the place smelled like dead bodies. Kurt then closes the car roof, so that the two people's upper body is stuck there. Then he drives to a place filled with aggressive dogs. 
Since both of them were stuck there, the dogs attacked and eventually killed them. Meanwhile, the passenger sitting in the front was murdered by Kurt, who used an electric drill. Later at the car wash, Kurt excitedly asks Bobby if he saw the triple kill he performed, and Bobby responds by saying, well, if a tree falls in a forest and no one is there to see it, like does it even actually fall dude? No. Bobby being very self-absorbed, thinks that he should review some of that funny girl's content to learn how things are actually done. He inspected her previous recordings and left some comments. He complained that her stories were taken from a vertical angle. Then Jessie went live, featuring her grandmother who was putting up with some jokes. Of course, Kurt was unimpressed by everything Jessie did, and all he could do was criticize them. While Jessie and her grandmother jokes with each other, and Kurt is beyond disgusted, he responds by saying this isn't relatable at all. My grandma's dead, as Kurt sits there jealous of Jessie's view numbers, he stops the car into a house and tells, I'm going to make things fair. Simultaneously there is a knock at Jessie's house. While Kurt goes and knocks on Bobby's house, Jessie opens her door to her ride. Kurt calls Bobby out for not doing what he promised to help make the lesson a hit. Bobby wanted Kurt to leave, because he was in the middle of streaming. When Kurt refuses to leave, Bobby live streams himself roasting Kurt to the core. All his viewers could see this, Kurt was beyond embarrassed and it was finally revenge time. Kurt says, I figured out the final steps of lesson. Step 1, Hi Jack, Jesse Adams Comedy Show. Step 2, He then stabbed Bobby in the abdomen. Bobby struggles and shouts to Kurt saying that this shouldn't have been real. Bobby reached for the gun, but couldn't face Kurt. While this live stream was going on, the comment section was going crazy. Kurt kills the boy he used to babysit. On the other hand, Jessie is having a hard time with the second creepy encounter of her day. The cab rider Miles is touching her and making her uncomfortable. Kurt has a nice shower after killing more than five people today, is live streaming that as well. Kurt is delighted to find out that he finally got the number of viewers he was looking for. He washes off the blood, browses through Bobby's clothes, his social media types of equipment and all that stuff. Kurt redirects the stream from Bobby's laptop, so now he got 5,000 people watching him. Then his dad Chris, text him and says, whether they both could hit it off to the DJ Uno club. Apparently, Kurt's dad was a DJ, and he wanted to visit the club to see the special guest, DJ Uno. Both Kurt and his dad pick up on each other, and fight all the way to the club. Chris lures Kurt by saying that he might get DJ Uno to tag him on her story if he behaves. Kurt's clout personality was getting aroused hearing this. They arrive at the club, a typical strip club with no girls dancing on the pole. Kurt makes his way to DJ Uno who is a Korean DJ. He is seen to pressure her into tagging him on Instagram, and just to be nice she plays along. But when Kurt doesn't get what he wants, he rushes back to the car with anger. While he was complaining to his viewers, DJ Uno knocked on his window and requested that he get her some tacos. She will tag him on her Instagram if he does, which was enough for Kurt to pull up at the taco shop. While Kurt stands on the shop line, he annoys the girl standing in front of him. DJ Uno finds the gun under his seat, and flexes with it on her live stream. She gets thirsty and drinks the poisoned water of Kurt's. She faints, and when Kurt comes back with the tacos, he finds DJ Uno unconscious. Two officers are seen stopping at the taco store, and they see Kurt acting very sus. They investigate him. And during this time, Uno suddenly wakes up and shoots one cop in the head, then she runs away with the other cop. Kurt is enjoying his day and can't be happier. He messes up on the road, freaking out other vehicles, and then speeds his way to a homeless people's area. After mocking them, he crashes on one of the tents, and his car flips over. At Jesse's comedy show, Miles tries to entertain the audience, but they only pay to see Jesse. Kurt is seen live streaming on Jesse's show, indicating that the dude is alive. Jesse talks about the creepy dude, and cringy driver aka Kurt to her audiences. Kurt is enraged to hear about Jesse's roasting him, and he aims the gun towards her. But Kurt's anger has calmed down since Jesse admitted that once upon a time, she too was just like Kurt. Kurt drops the gun and listened to her, she ends the show by explaining the effects of social media and smashes her phone, everyone applauds. Meanwhile, Kurt can't have access to the spree car anymore since he destroyed it. So, he took a cab home. As expected from Kurt, he murdered the driver and took over his car. Miles and Jesse are drunk, Miles books a cab, and somehow Jesse gets into the car without Miles noticing it. To her surprise, the cab driver is Kurt. Kurt threatened her that he would be taking her to his home. Jesse somehow manages to strangle Kurt with a charger wire, but Kurt knocks her off. Then he took her out so he could run her over to entertain his viewers. Luckily, Jesse gets inside the car after following Kurt out from his car. She accelerates to end Kurt's life, and he speeds off to his home. 
so Jesse literally crashed into Kurt's home with the car. Kurt tries to attack, but Jesse is quick to slap his face with a sharp object. Suddenly, Chris comes and sees the chaos. He's confused to see Jesse at his home, Jesse trips over something, which is later revealed to be Kurt's mom. Seems like Kurt ended his mom's career at the beginning itself. Kurt comes back with a gun, and shoots his dad. Now both his parents were killed by Kurt. Jesse makes her way inside the car, and to Kurt's bad luck, he is out of bullets. So Jesse would easily run over him. Jesse ended Kurt there, and since the comments section of the live stream was going insane. She took a selfie with dead Kurt, and posted it on her social media. That was one big step for Jesse to prosper in her career. Now, she was more popular. And all that thanks to Kurt. Okay, there's a couple of reasons why Kurt killed people. The first reason? Kurt killed his parents because he had a mental disorder. Kurt's mental illness has occurred since his parents divorced. Kurt becomes a child who lacks attention and affection, which is what triggers Kurt to kill his own parents. The second reason? In addition to mental disorders, Kurt also tends to want more attention. Because Kurt's parents didn't pay attention to him, Kurt then looked for another way to get attention, which was to become a content creator. But unfortunately, it didn't go as Kurt expected either, as long as Kurt did a live stream no one was watching it at all. Because of his ambition to become famous, Kurt finally decided to kill his passengers to be used as his content. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, so you can watch more video like this. Thanks for watching this video until the end, and see you in the next video.